All right, hello everyone, family and friends. I wanna first thank you once again for checking this video out because I know in this busy world you have so many other things to do, but you decide to take a few moments to um, be with me today and to listen up on this video. So today um, is still March 15th, 2018. It is about 9.18 right now. And um, I just made a video, of course, about gym hack um, clothing. So make sure you check that video out. That's my first official video for this year on YouTube. I've had other videos in the past on different accounts, but on this particular account, um, I'm starting out fresh, and um, so of course this may look, this may look like some of the usual first time beginner videos, which is fine. Um, the the message is the main thing. I know content is a huge deal, but I'm still learning how to work this um, video programming so I can make it more interactive and things like that. But um, I just want you to more so pay attention to the message um, that I'm trying to share with you. Um, you got the real natural look. I promise you, I did not look like this all day. Um, I actually was really dressed up today and I got a lot of compliments. But anyways, that's another video. So, um, I want to talk about investing in you. And I have this one because I just got back from the gym, um, about an hour or so, about what, about an hour or so ago. So, um, if you hear a little bit about my story on gym hack video. Um, I just joined One Life yesterday. I did my official workout, first day official workout for the new year. Well, in a gym. I actually started working out on Monday um, at home, but I decided to go ahead and make an investment on myself. So today's video is about investing in you. Um, it's March 2018. Um, I hope and pray that many of you are still um, working on your New Year's resolution resolutions. I hope that you're getting your accountability partners. I'm hoping that you are um, studying and working and doing whatever, whatever necessary to accomplish your goals for this year. So it's March 2018, of course, and so we're three months into this year. And I just want to let you know it is not too late to invest in yourself. And this is one I'm talking about this because this is one area that um, I have personally struggled in. And once again, I'm just a real African-American female um, trying to make a difference in, in this life and share some truths to you that will help you along the way. Um, either you're behind me in the present or you're um, further up. So, Anyways, investing, investing in yourself. So this is the area that I have struggled in for many years, actually. Um, and you say many years, yes, I'm about to turn 30. So I say many years because since I start working, I start working fairly young. I want to say I start working about 15, 16 years old. And I noticed investing myself was one of those things that I always feel guilty about. Um, I know many people out here may feel the same way. There's some people out here who may don't feel that way because you're very selfish. But I'm talking for those that do their best to do whatever they can to make a difference. And you're a giver, but you fail to give to yourself. And we have to, once again, to remember also to invest in ourselves because the good Lord above in our lives, he has, of course, created created us, created this world for us. He created our minds and our hearts, our abilities, our gifts, things, and our talents. For all those, of course, to give back to him, but also for us to make a living, of course, of course, eventually to give glory to him. But for you to do that, you got to invest in yourself to make sure you're keeping up with the body, the temple that the Lord has given to you. So um, with that in mind, my last video, I talked about how physical health was one of those things that I lacked in, I slacked in the past couple of years, but I'm getting back on track. So for those of you that know me, once I put my mind to something, I put my heart to something, I write it down, I talk about it, it's all in, it's 100% in. So, but um, yesterday when um, I decided to join a gym, I, I start thinking about it for the past couple of weeks and um, I was just going back and forth with myself and debating with myself um, what gyms I want to go to. And I have a little small gym room 
in my apartment complex, but it's really small. It doesn't really have a lot of stuff going on in there. But the things that I'm trying to do in my life, in my present, in my present right now, in my future, I feel as though I need more um, intensity and I need accountability. And so I, I have a coworker, my dear soul coworker. I love her so much. Um, I'm not sure she want to give her a shout out, so I'm not going to mention her name quite yet in this video. But she um, has a membership with One Life, and she always talks about them, and she always talks about how like, she loves the classes that they have, yada, yada, yada. There's so many things that they offer, and um, she just seems so hyped when she talks about working out with them and whatnot. So um, that's one place. Of course, we all know about Planet Fitness. Um, where I'm kind of at, what I do with my life as in work and home and where I'm, my surroundings, there's not one necessarily close by me and I'm a type of person, I don't want to be driving all around town to go to the gym. I just, that's just, for me, that's discouraging for me. I need to be like, get my, already have my stuff with me and just roll close by. So, from that, where I work, um... So I'm not trying to get out so much personal information out here, but um, those of you who originally get to know, I know many of you already know where I'm at, my state or whatever. So I live in the state of Virginia in the Hampton Roads area. It's a huge, y'all may know of like Norfolk, Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, that whole area. So that's where I'm at. And so my job, I currently right now um, live in Chesapeake. But my office, one of, one of my offices are in Norfolk. So I'm very mobile. I'm all around the place dealing with my job. I'm out in the field in the community a lot. But there's times that I have to go into the Norfolk office to do certain things. So um, with that being said, there is a one life, like walking distance. I just pull out of that office and I just go straight down for like, maybe 30 seconds and I am at the gym. And so that really um, encouraged me to go ahead and um, decide to join that gym. And so I went in and um, I already knew, it was like I came in, I kind of already knew that I was gonna join. I think the only basis that I wasn't gonna join if someone was like rotten or nasty to me or hateful to me, but um, when one of the sales guys uh, started talking to me, no wonder, like I should have known, like, he was like on his game, like seriously on his game. And so I, I just went in and I told him straight up what I wanted, what my plans were, what my goals were. And I told him, I'm like, look, I'm gym shopping right now. Like you're going to have to sell me for real. And so, and so that's the thing too, you got to think about when you're trying to invest in yourself, you need to make, you need to find out for yourself what you want in your life. Like, what do you want? Um, like, what are you trying to accomplish? Because if you don't know, you don't have a clue what you're doing with your life, you don't have a clue what you're trying to get accomplished, nobody's, nobody around you is going to take you seriously. And this guy was telling me, he was like, you know, in, it was like, in a way, it was like he knew, he told me straight up, he's like, well, I know what I'm working with because most people that come in here, they have no idea what they want. They have no idea what they want with their physical health. They don't have an idea what's going on with anything dealing with the gym or working out. So um, you got to make your goals clear and um, so people can understand where you're coming from. So with that being said, I decided to make an investment in myself and I was just going back and forth. I was going back and forth with myself. I'm like, okay, so do I just continue to just work from home and, you know, just do that way and just keep eating, keep cooking? Or, and you know, what I'm saying here is it's all, you know, it's free because I don't spend no money doing this. And then I have to be really fully accountable to myself because who's going to be really accountable to me if I'm just deciding to work out from home or my apartment complex gym. And another reason, but another reason why I wanted to join a gym because I know that I need to work with someone right now because I don't want to be doing workouts and I'm doing them wrong. You know, I don't be doing workouts and I'm not making no progress because I don't have a clue what I'm doing or what I need to do with what I want, you know, because, for example, I want, you know, be able to build up my endurance and my strengths and it seems like I don't want to have a, like a tight, you know, toned body, but I don't have no type of endurance. I have no type of strengths. Like, 
you know, the whole body look composition does not move me. So, um, but, you know, I want to have some strength to think some things, you know. So, anyways, with that being said, in so many words, it's not sure I'm into pricing and everything like that. And I already knew what I was getting into because I'm like, I know one life is not cheap, first of all. And um, there, you know, there are, of course, granted, there are other gyms that are so much cheaper, that are so much cheaper. But at the time, I knew what I, I knew what I needed. And I knew that I need to program my mind. Look, when you're in, when you're in Norfolk, near that gym, when your gym is literally walking distance from that particular office, there's no excuse, Kim. There's no excuse. Why you can't go to the gym for an, for 30 minutes, for an hour, for an hour and a half? There's no excuse for that, you know? So if I if I decided to fail in that, that would be my fault. So I was like, just debating with myself. And so I just went on and just made the investment because I'm like, look, I, I felt like Things that I have done in the past start role playing to my mind. It's like I had no problem investing in a car. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I am done paying off my car. I paid off my car back in November. And um, I spent the norm, I guess the norm five years paying off a car. And um, when I got my car, I had no problem investing in a car, in a materialistic thing. Of course, I needed my car to go to work. You know, it's blessed me. Oh, I, you know, I love my car. You know, it's a great blessing that I have. Um, I would not take that back from getting that car. But I'm saying I had no problem investing in that. I've never had a problem investing in living somewhere, you know, having a roof over my head. Um, so I've never had a problem investing in travel. I never had a problem with investing in other people, um, giving to other people, giving to other needs, things like that. But for whatever reason, when it came to my physical health, I start questioning and debating to invest in myself. Like it's the most odd thing, but I think it was, I think it's a lack of education, lack, lack of knowledge. Um, you know, growing up, it was never um, really stressed that you need to take care of your physical body. You need to also invest in your physical body. Because look here, y'all. You're only going to live one time. You're going to live one time. And at the end of the day, you're going to give account on what you did in your body. You're going to give account what you did in this world. And um, back in December, when I start coming aware and realizing, like, I got to do something. Like, time is winding down, right? And I realized, like, the Lord blessed me with this, with this body. The Lord blessed me with a great mind. He blessed me with a great heart, great organs. Um, I'm a fairly well, healthy person for the most part. Um, why would I purposely run down my body before it's time? And it got really, it got very personal and real for me at the beginning of the year. And um, I don't want to be standing before the Lord and he's pretty much you know, I real and he told me pretty much that I realized that he had so much more stuff for me to do, but I chose to cut my time short because I couldn't take care of my physical body. And so it it's really an eye opener. Eye opener. Once again, we need to be we need to be spiritually healthy, we need to be mentally healthy, we need to be emotionally healthy, as well as we need to be physically healthy. And I'm making this vlog because this is something that's been very real for me. And something that I have struggled. And I know I'm not the only one that has struggled with this. So um, I want to encourage you all out here to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. And I'm not saying to be so. I'm not promoting selfishness. I'm not I'm not um, promoting greed or anything like that. I mean, if you're a person like me, you know, you go to work. You, you know, you give your tithes. You, you, you give a portion of your money to the church. You also give to other needs. You helping your friends celebrate your birth, you know, birthdays and graduations. And um, you're spending your money on going out to eat. You're spending your money on cars. You're spending your money on crazy $100 purses. 
you're spending your money on like shoes and clothes and just just so much stuff people spend their money on like you're spending your money on houses and boats which all that stuff is great and important not not downing any of that not downing any of that but you know once you got your got your money together between you know you and the lord and your basic needs like shelter food um your utilities once you got those together you need to start considering to invest in yourself and um like for someone like me that has student loans of course you need to start you know paying those student loans off i encourage you don't wait to know 10 20 years to pay your loans off like you need to get that together because the longer you wait um you investing yourself is suffering and um that's just some i'm i'm sharing this and i could um relate to this because this is something that i'm currently in right now and i'm learning must invest in yourself this is your year to invest in yourself and a way you invest in yourself you need to sit down with yourself you need to sit down with yourself and sit down with the lord and be like look what am i doing wrong here what am i doing right here what do i need to start doing to have a better um quality of life you know i'm not satisfied with this average life you know, the Lord blessed me with such an awesome world out here. Why would I just take average? That's foolishness. So invest in yourself. And this is not really what I thought I was going to turn into, but I want to encourage you, everyone, to invest in your physical health. Like I said, I from the last video, I started in January. I remember January 1st, actually, a lot of people was off, a lot of people was home chilling. I got myself up and I went to Whole Foods that day and I, I was in it. And so since then, it was, it's was it been weekly or bi-weekly since January. I've been going to Kroger, Whole Foods, and Trader Joe's and I've just been investing in myself in those areas. And so, and once again, you know, eating organic is not a whole bunch of money and that's a whole nother video, but I just want you all to start investing in yourself you know, your 20s and your 30s people. And that's who I'm talking to because that's the, that's the range that I feel like I'm, you know, really relating to right now, our 20s and 30s, the millenniums. And um, we got to start investing in ourselves in a better way. Some of us are investing, but we're thinking it's investing in ourselves and it's really not investing in ourselves. It's investing in foolishness, investing in things that it's not going to last. It's not going to last at all. At all. So invest in your spiritual health, invest in your mental health, invest in your emotional health, and invest in your physical health. So this is about 18 minutes long, much longer than what I thought. But I hope this encouraged someone. I hope this blessed someone. And uh, feel free, please, like, share, and subscribe. Well, yeah, and subscribe um, to my page. Um, yeah, so I'll leave you all with that. And um, in the future, you'll be getting more videos from me and words of encouragement positively on this journey of physical health as well as all other areas of health. Thank you so much for tuning in.